Hello. Hello. Yep. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, oh, we on the radio. We on the radio. You can't say that word on the radio. <laughs> Cursed word. Let the man talk. Thank you for calling in, sir, and we thank you for your wisdom. But we got to take a, our first break, and you're absolutely correct. We got to work together. And when you call us back, we are a family radio station. <laughs> they were screwing cows. Leave them cows alone. I think they do have a I'm Oh, they do? Yeah, it doesn't say switch. Okay. Jaquay, what song we need to play? That Project Pat song. What's it called? Carnaby song. Yeah. Which one is it? What's the name of the song? The Carnaby song. <laughs> no, what's the song you were talking about? Chicken Head. Okay. Alright. Oh, we get it. It's called Chicken Head. We accept ten care and offer patient assistance to help pay for needed services. Choices is proud to provide comprehensive reproductive health services. Really? Everybody likes to be called a bee. Oh, for me, no, she did. She did all of that. She did all of such as general wellness, fertility assistance, STI testing and treatment, reproductive health services for people living with HIV, <laughs> <laughs> including PrEP and PEP, mm, birth not. control, gardens, oh. patients, abortion the services, miscarriage uh, management, and services for trans and gender non-conforming people. Well, we'll play when they start cussing, we'll cut it. Everybody I, needs oh, choices. Yeah, they don't have the queen Big and hey, never, 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 Testing for HIV AIDS because HIV AIDS yeah, has become the third leading cause of death among African Americans between the ages of 25 and 34. Even more surprising is the fact that this disease has become the leading cause of death for African American women between the ages of 25 and 34. The spread of HIV AIDS is the single greatest health crisis currently confronting African Americans. How many minutes we have left? Commercials. Uh, you got the card of me? <coughs> yeah. All right. worship service. And each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. for our Bible study. You do not want to miss these power pack services. We are a church for all people, and we welcome you as we transform the Memphis culture. The church is located uh, inside of the Presbyterian Church at 561 huh? South Prescott Street, in Memphis, now? Tennessee. I'm Dr. Here, Darnell Gooch, the pastor, pastor of the Cathedral Praise Church of Memphis Incorporate, and I hope to see you there. Aircraft. This is the city. This is their story. Some names have been changed, and so many lives have been changed, too. They're going to give you the facts, just the facts. Some call this a city of crime. When they're done, it's going to be the city that cares a lot. This is the city, Memphis, Tennessee, where fearless, inspired, on fire, hungry rabble of revolutionaries has transformed hearts and minds, not with weapons, but with their own brand of compassion, integrity, and hard work. All they're asking is for you to join Thank their you. movement. Last commercial. It's easy to join. Last commercial. Twenty dollars, fifteen. I gotta figure this out. I'm gonna so come in early one day. Profit organization. I'm coming during the week. I gotta figure this out. With this donation, you will help so, enhance. So when the callers call in, we want our listeners to hear out of here. We used to do it. They got a new core. We got to figure out how this new core works. And its allies go to because they can they can hear the people who watch the live. Only we can hear it, and they can hear it either. On the World Wide Web, relationshipunleashed.com. All donations are tax deductible. 
Come on, join the movement. Bump that car to beat, man. Bump that car to beat, man. Bump that car to beat. Powers the community and Cardi B is chicken head. Whoop, whoop. Chicken head. Cardi B gonna be on Saturday Night Live tonight. Her and the Black Panther. What's his name? Chad Jane Brown. Yes. Yeah, whatever. Me. Chad Jane Brown gonna be on. <laughs> he hosting and she's singing Ooh. on Saturday Night Live. She gonna sing. That's awesome. All right, let's go. And I heard on the way down here that they hadn't shown a movie in Saudi Arabia yeah, in like over 30 years. or 40 years. It was 35. And that they are going to premiere, allow the Black Panther to premiere in Saudi Arabia in about a week. Wow. Good. It's Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman. Boseman? Boseman. Boseman. Thank you. Thank I you. call him Jane Brown. <laughs> Awesome job in that Let's talk about our guests in the house tonight. Let's talk about these Makita cookies in downtown Memphis. Somebody didn't know we had one downtown. Topeka is here. Yeah. What's the location of downtown Memphis? We're at 488 South 2nd. We're right behind the Civil Rights Museum. Mm. Hours? Right behind the Civil Rights right Museum. Right behind it. And we're open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. So I know you all have heard or seen the Kita cookies in your groceries around the city. And um, she's, a, she's, a, she's a good friend of ours. We always... Uh, you can stop looking over here. You ain't even get these. <laughs> <laughs> you over here looking at your lips. You ain't getting... Ain't nothing over here for you. <laughs> Run into these This cookies. engineer looking at me with these cookies. The devil is alive. <laughs> he's going so, home. So we just want to talk about... Um, your can't get no bugs. your business and your great concept and the the concept behind your business and uh, like where it started where the name comes from we're just gonna let you rip uh Tamika come on in come on in with us all right let's go ahead and start from the beginning let's do it okay well my parents they're the one who started Makita's Cookies it's named after my little cousin she uh, died from leukemia in '97 mm -hmm. so in '99 which is about 18 years ago Makita's Cookies began and uh, we've been baking the best butter cookies in the world ever since 1999. Absolutely. Yep, and this year we'll be celebrating 19 years of baking the best. You know, I remember when y'all was just like uh, having pop-up tips. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my uh, my cousin wife, Pat, worked with you. Yes, we love Pat. Pat who? Ooh. Oh, she worked at uh, McKinney's? No, she was like, she used to be at Cooper Young all the time. Yes, the and Robert, in a, yes. Yeah, in a tent. And, uh... So I was like, what y'all doing? She was like, these my folks. Y'all need to buy some cookies. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she one of our number one supporters. Pat wow. has been with us since 09. Yeah, that's, wow. that's my cousin's wife. So we're, we're Pat's family, so she, she, she's cousin. So yeah, I, I remember, I remember. Um, and so tell me, what, what was it like to see your uh, your vision grow from just like, you know, a home-based business, now y'all in a brick and mortar, and you begin to see your hard work come to fruition. Tell, what is that like? Like my parents say, y'all, it's surreal. It's unreal. You really don't feel it until people come up to you and be like, yeah, I love your cookies, and I live in Germantown or Cordova, Cayuvia, Millington. And you see that, you know, you get people really out here enjoying what you do. Really Girl, these I cookies, love it. These cookies are good. Make them on Smack Your Mama. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my parents have been, y'all, they've been working uh, really hard for a really long time. And I just consider it an honor just to be on the team uh, supporting what they do and supporting the vision. Yeah. So, did they just give you the torch and say, take it and run? Or? Not yet. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all about my parents, y'all. They don't want to give up. You'll be like, oh, you know, take a vacation, get out of the kitchen. They'll be like, nah. 
It ain't gonna work right without me. So right now, we just, me and my brother and sister, we just sitting back, you know, we're doing what we do, yeah. but we still have to, because this is their vision. So we have to, until they pass on the, pass the torch, we just work with whatever vision they tell us to work with, and they let us do it. So yeah. who who man, who created the recipe for these butter cookies? I mean, the butter, they, we have, hold on, what's this one right here? Now, that's the lemon ice. Now, this lemon ice. ice. One, yeah. What's this one? Show now, that's the pass. macadamia nut with white chocolate. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Lemon? What? Wait a minute. This is lemon what? Lemon ice. It's a sugar cookie. Lemon right? ice. And what's this one? Now, that's a macadamia nut with white chocolate. Oh, Sean, you And what's this oh, one? a chocolate chip pecan cookie. Oh, yeah, that's mine. Yeah. And I am eating the world famous. The world famous. Butter, butter cookies. Butter. Yes, and can't nobody, I'm hungry. let me have these. All these butter cookies. <laughs> no, you gotta give me a butter cookie. I'm gonna put them it's out. It's for Sean and the butter cookie. I ain't giving your old lady nothing. Hold on. That's your mama Make sure Sean get a cookie, man. She better go to Kroger <laughs> and buy her some of them lemon cookies. <laughs> <laughs> this dude here, oh, he is stashing cookies. In, I in said he done rearranged the box. Like, he like that. cookie monster over here. What the word? I'm gonna put these in my purse. Hold on. <laughs> So back to who make the best cookies? You, your mom, or your brother, your daddy? Oh yeah, it's a it's a toss up because like my brother, he make the best chocolate chip and chocolate chip pecan. Uh -huh. You know, my sister, she a big to differ because she makes some pretty good ones too. Mm -hmm. But my stepdaddy, he got the butter down pat. Really? And my mama, she a kill him with the oatmeal raisin. And I just like I'm <laughs> I'm pretty much good at all of them, but you know, everybody got a cookie that they can bake the best. Okay, yeah. so when we came on, we were talking about Georgia Avenue. Over there oh, in uh, South Memphis. Yes, yes, man. You know, back in the day, we used to have them cookies in the cafeteria, yeah. and I think you get three for a dollar? No, it was three for 30 cents. Yeah, I get three to, for the butter, it was 30, and for the chocolate chip, it was 40. Sure yeah. was. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And, uh, they and make, the bed, it was in the kitchen. Make them joints in the kitchen, <laughs> right? Get them big old curls in her head. Yeah, that's when they really cooked them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did that recipe come from that it school came from butter from cookies? Memphis City School. Yeah. yeah. My great grandmama worked at Memphis City School. What school? She was over there at, uh, what was it? Come on. On Lamar. What's the name of that school over there? Lamar. Oh, Lamar. What's the Lamar. name of that school? Lamar. Yeah, it's going toward downtown on Crump. Crump Elementary. Crump Elementary? La Rose. La Rose. About to file a home. Come on, man. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. You know, straight blank, you talking about Lamar. That's Crump. That is Crump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't turn into the road till you turn that corner down there. That's true. That's true. So let's, let's give everybody a rundown of all the locations of Makita cookies. These took a good hell. <laughs> See that? I told you go slip. Hell ain't no bad word. Two times. No. Give, me, give me a location for you to know. Give we're, me a location. We're at downtown at 488 South 2nd. Mm -hmm. And we're also in South Memphis at 2370 Airways Boulevard. Uh -huh. And you can also find our cookies in your local Kroger, Cash Saver, Blitz, Super Low Foods. We're in a, a few grocery stores, about 50 of them around the city. Awesome. Right now. And it's a black owned business. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Awesome, awesome. Hey, listen, this is our last uh, commercial break. We got to pay a few bills. But you are listening to Tamika is in the house. We got Makita Cookies, the downtown location. And here the phone ringing. Somebody trying to get some cookies. Bump that car to me, man. <laughs> no, we got a phone call. Bump that car to me. Oh, we got a phone call. Yeah, we got a phone call. Lord have mercy. Somebody Thank might want to ask you about some cookies. Honey, I'm an okay. agent. Call me. I'm gonna eat another butter cookie. Lord have mercy, okay. thank you. Y'all, if y'all never had Makita's, go to Makita's and get y'all some butter cookies. Yes. Hello, caller. How are you? This is the Unleashed Voice Radio Show. You're live on the air. Who is this? Hey, uh, Turn your radio down. Uh, I forgot your alias. What's your alias? Oh Lord, you must be serious today. What's up? Okay, what's up? Key. Uh, um, Give me okay. a Yeah. Oh, I can hear you. Do you know who I, am? I don't. Come on, Tim. Give me more information, Keith. Was it Keith? Boom! I know who you are now. <laughs> How you doing over there? I should have married. I remember you saying that to me too. Wait a minute, don't be calling him Craig for the snot rag. Trying to get Willie Mae. Willie Mae got her, uh, 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 Stella got her groove back. <laughs> Thank 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Keith. I appreciate that. And I'll be there. I want to see you. Uh-oh. Oh, second Sundays. But look, you're right, because we closed this second Sunday. That was a trick one. You're right, you're right. He got me. 